I want to greet the most important people, the servants of the peace movement. Servants. Servants. We need to build a capable state in our country. Because if you look at South Africa, the state is failing in our country. That is why you find you have all people there to have to sleep outside in post offices because they want to grant. It is because of the failure of the state. If you look at all of the things that are going wrong in our country, they paint to one clear picture. The state is failing to govern. That is why as our priority as the ATM, it is to build a capable state. What does a capable state look like for us as the ATM? Number one is that the state must play a critical role in creating a good quality of life for the citizens. We don't agree with this being in South Africa, whereby the functions of the state are being privatized. East South Africa can never belong to the private sector. The private sector can never be given the responsibility of creating a good quality of life. It is the state that must play that role of creating a good quality of life. <laughs> Furthermore, there must be a timeless and dependable grant system. We can't have a grant as it was human and unplanned, and bombs of Zika human aid. And a grant must be new to reflect the needs of our people. There must be investment in roads and rail infrastructure so that we are able to move around the people and the goods in our country are able to be moved around. But critically, we must make sure Ukubai SOEs, the state-owned enterprises, are, are, are supported to make sure that they succeed. There is this thing uh, 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 in our country whereby people are made to believe Ukuba the SOEs are failing. There is SOEs that are serving the white minority. Your land bank, your PIC, those SOEs are functioning well. No one is saying those SOEs must be privatized. However, the SOEs that are serving the majority of our people, such as ESCOM or post office, who are made to believe Ukuba they are dysfunctional, therefore they must be privatized. There is a clear program of ensuring that these SOEs that are serving the masses of our people are made to be destroyed. And we don't agree with that as the ATM. We believe there is enough capacity and there is enough resources for all of these SOEs to be in the hands of the state so that the state is able to play a critical role in serving the people. We are equally saying as the ATM, there needs to be quality health care for everyone. There can't be a case whereby if you are rich, you are wealthy, you are going to get exceptional health care. But if you are poor, you are not going to get quality health care. We are equally saying, Mabuka Ashwe, all of the environmental health practitioners, we've got a problem of the fake foods that are killing our children. People in our country are being poisoned deliberately by these fake foods. And the people in our country need to know there are environmental health practitioners that are qualified to ensure that whatever that is being eaten and sold by our, to our people, it is of good quality. That is why we are saying, let the government employ all environmental health practitioners so that there is no establishment, whether it is a big retailer or it is a sponsor shop, there must be no establishment that will sell fake, expired or rejected foods to our people. We are equally saying traditional healers, Nezangoma, must be given a space to operate and practice when they are available as a Tonishu area, such as the rivers and the mountains. We need to fight for traditional healers, Nezangoma, because they are authentic Africans. 
It cannot be that Eastern uh, Goma, uh, when Sifunu pledges, uh, they need to go to a Western institution to ask for permission. That is why we are saying that the current interim council under the Act 22 of 2007 must be appointed permanently so that Izangoma must be guided Zedzi Izangoma. Its traditional healers must be regulated Zedzi traditional healers. Also we are saying that the royal and faith leaders must be given a responsibility and a meaningful role to contribute towards the shaping of the moral character of our country. Currently, we need to know if we are going to have a country that lacks respect for the elders, lacks discipline. That is not who we are as Africans. That is why we need Amakosi, we need Abantu Benkolo, Bakekwakiwe Umuntu. Because Ukuba Akwakiwa upon South Africa, is the Luanian. Is the Luanian a Zez who's born in South Africa, who been in Tuana in 18 years? Ibo ne oko baba dalba in baba dwembul. It is because Ukwele is the Luanian. Ufnega Ubu is where Ubuntu, Ebantui. Uba Ubuntu, Buntu, Gabantu. We need to regulate the digital industry, such as Uber and the Bolt, because when these companies coming from these European countries or America, when they come to South Africa, they undermine our people, they undermine our national interests. However, when they operate in Europe, they respect them. If Bolt and Uber, when it is operating in Europe, it recognizes the drivers as employees. And when a driver is in, in an accident, Uber is there to assist the driver. But in our country, we've got our brothers and sisters that are driving Ubers and Bolts. Whenever there's an accident, Uber can get in now. Uber can get in now. And we also have a problem with these institutions that are going to come in our country violate our immigration and labor laws by employing or allowing Abantu who are not providing a class and critical skills to drive the Uber world. Surely, servants, in South Africa has got the highest unemployment rate. Therefore, it cannot be acceptable that a person will come from outside of South Africa as of to buy Uber up. We've got so many young people that should be occupying that space instead of that space being taken by people coming outside of the country. We also say there needs to be a regulation of the film and television industry so that we do not allow what is happening now whereby our, our brothers in that sector are being exploited. And when they are exploited, there was no one to run to because there's no regulation.